And we are live. According to my little screen, it says we're live. How is everybody doing out there? I'll wait a while till people get in. Double check here. Yes. Let me mute this button. I think we're live. <laughs> Is there's 14 in here, 14 people in here. And counting. What that's all about, let uh, me drown. How are you, our Philippines? Over and check out our Philippine journey. He's an Angeli City YouTube vlogger here. Um, he just did a review of Angeli City vloggers here. Uh, ones he's met. There, there's so many here. Uh, I don't know. There's at least a good dozen of the ones I know of. Uh, but yeah, go check out our Philippine journey. Let me. Put something out there. I'm all over the place this morning. I'm trying to trying to uh where are we at? Right there. Let me bring this up. Where is it at? Right there. I hope this is working this morning. We had issues the other day <clears throat> that's why uh, i didn't do a live stream issues on the internet slow even this is there's a link to our Philippine. Why don't you shave? Why don't you shave? If I shave every day, I get rashes. It's the nice thing about being retired here in the Philippines, you know. I work for the Department of Corrections like every day. They had to shave, and, you know, being in the military. But now that I'm retired, I don't every day if I don't want to. People might say, hey, I'll be a slob. <laughs> Joseph Martin, hello from Vegas. Jim, what's up? Um, Michael Flat. I don't know. It seems like I'm clicking. Uh, it should be popping up real quick. Terry, good morning. How are you? Five star. Yeah, it's moving like real well. Harbor and Home City. Uh, it's, it's to know. Are the face tat hennas? Henna. As you can see, they're. There's a long piece, just a little bit. Um, I took lemon. I took a lemon. Of course, I researched it down. And it said you can take a lemon, put it on your for you know, two, three minutes. Uh, I here and it's just fading away uh, for a couple of weeks, uh, but yeah, they fade away. You say name on Kanaman, Kanaman, Justin. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but 
like people's icons are slowly popping up and hey, as long as you guys say I'm good and I'm all right, audio is in and out. I think it's the connection. You know, the great, beautiful internet here in the Philippines. It could be the connection. Video seems lagging. Well, <clears throat> I can only do one thing. The only thing I could do, guys, is jump off, <clears throat> and that's what I'll do. I will jump off, and uh, we'll reset. Let me reset this. If uh, we get cut off, I'll create another new chat, so just hang in there with me. <clears throat> <clears throat> like I said, the wonderful, beautiful internet of the Philippines. Let me... All right, back on. <clears throat> I just did a refresh on the uh, system here. We'll see if it uh, how it works. Ha ha! Fire starter. Ha ha! Is it me or is it lagging? Let me. I can't do that. Let me. I mean, I'm closed down on everything. That's a lot better. All right, good. Um, Hannah left, so she's not on the internet. I don't know if Bing's on the internet. I know Lutz not on the internet, so obviously it has to be a, a restart issue. He says, better now, better now, awesome. It says there are 55 people in the room. Thanks for joining. I'll have Lut here soon. What she's doing? Oh, she's... uh. She's getting herself ready. Are you getting yourself ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, all right. We'll bring Lud in <clears throat> because um, I'm going to talk about this issue, the topic, uh, and the uh, issue that uh, this video is about. When you're coming to Dallin, we'll be down there. Uh, yeah, I wish. <laughs> we don't. We don't pretend to know Justin. We know Justin. <laughs> we Tomorrow. don't. We don't name drop people we've never met. Right? It's. It'd be like watching uh, Rocky and being from Philadelphia, and then me name dropping. You know, Ro yep, I know Rocky. No, you don't. It's funny because I see people. I don't see everybody, but I see some people. You know, they name drop all these YouTubers, but they never met. And they act like they're good friends and good buddies. Boy, if I could play, if I could play, and Justin will say, yeah, go ahead. If I could play a voice message I got from Justin, it would shut certain people up real quick about how they know all these people. But I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right, we got Lud here. Oh, there's Daryl Charity. Hello, look, my beautiful friend. How are you this Sunday morning? How are the girls again? My apologies for missing your live. <laughs> Daryl Charity missed your live stream. Yeah, yesterday. You, wanna, you gotta come up to the mic. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. It's okay. Next time. Next Saturday again. <laughs> Mr. Texas says, Brian, in your thumbnail looks look, looks like she's enjoying herself too much. Were you choking me? Oh. Oh, sometimes because I feel like annoying. <laughs> sometimes it's very annoying. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we actually say it took us a while because I had Lynn out there taking a photo for us and um, Luke just kept laughing and I'm like laughing. I'm like, look, we got to act serious. You know, you got to act serious for your thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Uh, Margarita Station closed. Not yet. I, I walked by there. My last walking video and... Um, and I asked a door guy, and he said they have yet to give them a date. So there hasn't been a date set yet. So uh, <coughs> hang on. I got to get a drink of water. Talk a little bit. But... Huh? I'll talk a little bit. You talk. 
Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Pillies in the Philippines live. Uh, James, since retiring, have you purged your air yet? What about it? Like earrings? Like earrings? Pair. Like a pairs. Like a pairs? P R E I C E D? Pairs. But it's an earrings, right? Brian has a hole. Like yeah. Brian has a hole, but uh, he used to do that before. But a matter of fact, when I first met him, he was like, as a kind of like a bad boy style. <laughs> he was like, earrings, earrings over here. <laughs> Lot, Mr. Texas. Lot, how did Bing Bing and her classmate do their school project? I think they did good. They do good. Uh, I don't know what's the score because uh, she said uh, she don't know yet. But uh, she she has a feeling that they're, they're, they did good because I think they're the only one who has it good too. Douglas Mack, good morning, Brian and Lot. <coughs> Mikael Williams, all I really want is a good woman hard to find in U.S. <laughs> so true. I hear that from a lot of people. Yeah. But yeah, like they can't find a good woman in the U.S. Oh, I mean, maybe you just don't find it. Well, I think it all depends, too. I think it depends on, you know, say you've been married <clears throat> for a few years. You know, you have a family, you have a wife, you have a kid. Welcome back, Mike. Um, you have kids, you get divorced. Um, you're older and, you know, you're, you're, <clears throat> Your options out there, I think, I, I think, and I hear this, are limited. What do you say? I mean, do you, do you just settle with somebody because you want to just be with somebody? Um, do you put up uh, with that other person's just bullshit, I guess you could say? You know, the, the nagging and the arguing and... Um, yeah, I, I hear that from a lot of guys. Which, which brings me to the point, you know, are we separating? <laughs> we, get, we, get, we get questions all the time. You know, I get questions from subscribers. Look gets questions from subscribers. You don't know if, if they, you know, if they, We're divorced. what their, what their uh, intention is. But one, look, got one recently saying, uh, are you guys separating? Why they say that? What was the comment? Why he said you never we're see me in your video anymore. Like they never see me in her video or yeah, her in my video and stuff. And no, no, we're not, we're not separating. It just some of the comments in question. Here's another one. Look, gets how do you handle your husband being in Angley City, Philippines, <laughs> the city of temptation? Oh, he also told me like 10 years from now you're dump you're dumping me like a trash because you have a lot of temptation. You're like you're surrounded with temptation. Right. Yeah. I, I always get that one. There's like people can judge you based on what they want to judge uh, see. I mean, yeah. Oh, it is super it would be super easy here in this city. And I I know guys, heard stories of guys. That they do. They're with a wife, a girlfriend, whatever. And they're out picking up the girls here, sleeping with the girls here. And it's easy to do. There's, come on, you think about it. You go into a club or whatever in a beautiful Filipina there. And, you know, you know you can be with her. Beautiful. It costs you a little bit of money. Young. But they do it. Beautiful, young, sexy. And yeah. I'm not saying all the guys do it. But there are... Some that do it, married, girlfriends, whatever, you know, they'll also, uh, they'll also, you know, they'll shoot down to Barrio Barreto or the boys from Barrio Barreto come up here because it's, they can do it. It happens. But my thing is, what happens if, you know, you get a, a, uh, you know, some type of disease and you take that home to your wife, or your girlfriend, you know, now what, what do you, what do you tell her? 
Oh, I got it from the toilet seat. I must have got it from a toilet seat. What the? A toilet seat? You can't get a disease from a toilet seat. You know, what do you tell them? But they do it. And to each their own, you know, whatever. But then again, I say, what if the girl did it? What if the girl did it to the guy? You know what I mean? Yeah. How would how would that guy feel? You know, well, it's okay. It's the bro code. The bro code says it's okay. But I don't know. I just couldn't do that. Um, hell, my my first wife I had, she did it to me, and I felt bad. You know, how do you betray me? How'd you do this? And you wouldn't want somebody, you wouldn't want to cause somebody to have that feeling also, right? But yeah, you could easily do it here. And the thing is here in the Philippines, there's beautiful women. They're all over the place. There's nothing wrong with looking. You can look at a beautiful woman and be like, yeah, she's a beautiful girl. But you don't pursue it. Like, same way with a woman. A woman can see a guy and be like, wow, he's a good-looking, handsome guy. Mm. It, it's just normal. It's just human nature. To be like that. Yeah, you just have like a crush or something. But, you know, doesn't mean like you are going to pursue that person because he's very handsome. Like who is your crush? Crush? Sprillis Willis? No. No, it's... uh <laughs> Oh, I forget that. Some, uh, some actor. Celebrity, I, celebrity. It was a celebrity, I forget. Uh, 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 Neeson. Neon, Leon, Leon, Neeson? Leon Neeson. That was, that was your... Oh no, Vin Diesel is oh, Vin my Diesel. I know. Vin Diesel is my yeah. long time crush. You know, Vin Diesel back in the day. Yeah. Right. Long time crush. Long time, long time crush. That's just human nature. You know what I mean? Victor Coco, good morning to you. And like, do we like people you guys argue? Do you guys argue? Do you guys fight? Yeah. We do? Yeah. It's not like we're arguing. We're arguing like how other people argue because I hate like people with shouting and everything like that. I can't stand it. Like I don't like that kind of argue. Here's the thing, cause we are we were going to argue. We're not kind of like even Hannah and Bing doesn't even know that we're arguing. Right. Because <laughs> he always seems like quiet. And when he's mad, when he's really mad, I'm not a kind of person like uh, when he's really mad. You also mad. When he's really mad, I let him calm down like i let him talk i let i don't say anything i don't say anything at all so we don't have fight all over because that's the cause of like fighting too bad when people one partner is mad and then you also get mad so the the honor is cost you a lot see I, they always tell me <clears throat> even hannah says how about Papa talks too loud. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I do. I, I talk loud. That's just how I am. I'm not talking loud because I'm angry or mad. I just like I talk loud. Oh. You know, he most always... Filipinos talk quiet. I always said, why <clears throat> Papa always talk loud? <laughs> right. Or well, they always say you talk too fast. Like I'm speaking English, but I talk too fast. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like. I, you know, remember we we had neighbors, right? And I and I felt so bad for this guy when we lived over in Cashville. Like I felt so bad for this guy. Um, he was married to a Filipino, Filipina, and uh, boy, she was just ugly and nasty to mm. him. Like I felt so bad. Like. <clears throat> He would say something and like he had to walk around on eggshells around his own wife because he was afraid to say something and she would just tear into him, yell at him, scream at him. Boy, I felt bad. Mm. I felt bad for this guy. And it's like, dude, you don't have to put up with that. But, you know. I, that's the cold love bow. Yeah, I love her so much. And here's the thing. She even made a comment before she got married oh. and said, I don't love the guy. Oh, actually, it's like also guy's fault because for to be honest, he said that in front of him. Like he said, she said that to him that I don't love you. Are you still right. willing to marry me? And the guy was willing to marry. So who can be fault? 
Right. But why? Why Why get, put yourself in that position? Can you imagine? Here's another thing. And I've seen this. And I'm like, wow, my, my jaw just drops when I see this. Can you imagine if Lut and I do live shows like this and all we do is argue uh-huh. and yell? And, you know, here's the thing. Lutz from the Philippines. She might not be from this area. All right. Then again, Angeles City, would they say over half the people here? 85. Almost 85% of the people in Angeles City are not Kapapampangan. Mm-hmm. They come from all over the areas of the Philippines to work, to get a job, to start a business, to do up. They're, they're 85% of them. All right. Now you wander outside Angeles, maybe towards like Porak. Dau, Porak, Mabalaka City. Actually, Florida Blanca. Florida Blanca. Now you're in an area where there's a lot of Kapapampangans, right? But getting back to the point, can you imagine if all we did like was argue? Look, look knows the Philippines. This is her country. All right. If she tells me something about the country, why am I going to argue with her? Why am I going to say, you don't know what you're talking about? Why, why am I going to do that? She knows this country. Be like when she came to America. I know America. She's not going to argue with me about America because I know America. Well, I don't really have a lot of argument in America, too. Because right. I was like, if I don't understand things, I will ask him. Because I don't know, you know. There's different culture over there, too. Like, there's different, there's culture that I need to understand. So if I don't ask, I don't know, I will ask him. Yeah. So, I mean, like I, I see I see this one couple, boy, they argue. Like, three quarters of the show is just arguing. And I feel bad because the guy, like, he says something and he, like, it's almost like he's cringing, looking up to see if you're going to get into an argument. It's like, it's your country. You know more about this country than I do. So why would I argue with you about that? Some people, they'll ask a question, all right? (laughs) And then argue about the question they ask or argue about the response they get from the question because it's an answer they don't want to hear. That's that's called self-righteousness. Right. No matter what you say, no matter what you told, they won't believe it because that's they don't want your... They don't want to believe. They don't want to believe the answer because it's not what they in their mind. Some people, they just know it all. They know Mm, everything. They're just know it all. You can't tell them anything because in their mind, they know it all. Yeah, They're smarter among right. smarter, you know? Right. The wall is white to them. It's the wall is green. Right, right. On YouTube about you, Phil, where are we at here? Uh, but yeah, no, we're not. The only time what really gets mad at me. Boy, actually, I always like. I always said like uh, I'm always thankful. I don't think like I always said I'm always thankful to my asawa because he always put up with my mood. Because I'm very moody. Well, to be not, honest, I'm very moody. All women can be moody, but one thing about look, there's none of that tempo, tempo crap. <laughs> no, it, that done out the window, not happening. No, but I'm, there's guys that have to deal with it. And I'm God very, very it. moody. Like if I don't like. Like if I'm if I feel him annoying, I always told him you're so annoying. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> right, and then there's times, usually once a month, like what's in a bad mood? Yeah, once and she'll a be month. like, "Leave me alone." I know why. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna poke the bear. You know, I'm not gonna poke. You know, Godzilla. Rawr, you know what I mean? I'm no, I'm not doing that. Because I know, you know, she's in a bad mood or whatever. Oh, here's the thing. Also, I will can tell. Like, people can say, oh, you can find someone better than your husband. I, I get that comment, you know. I, I can find better. You should, like, clip your husband. But Thank here's you, the Mitch. thing people don't understand. Like, I've been married to him, and I know him pretty well. Like, we know each other. And then you are entering another relationship. And then there you go. You got to mix up again. You don't know these people. Doesn't mean he was, like, handsome, good-looking, young. It's you're going to be compatible with Right. Com- be- compatible. 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 <laughs> compatible with him, you know? It's just he was when we get like we have a lot of struggle when we first together. 
and now we finally goes to the uh, to the i uh, know that we are already comfortable each other like i can tell him secret he can say everything less than that he talked too much <laughs> well i mean like he can't make any you know he always shared like if he goes out he goes to fields wherever he goes when he come back home he always tell me story hey you know what this is what i did this is what i do so they don't have like i always trust him so no even though we are in angeles city i don't really mind about he was going walking alone i don't really mind about it because i trust him though right do you automatically become a filipino citizen when you marry a filipino no no uh, you don't become an automatic no actually citizen. you need to stay like 10 years let me get a drink For my understanding, you need to take, you need to have, you need to stay in the Philippines for 10 years because you actually apply it. But are you like, uh, <sighs> uh, Steve Guapo, I'm butterfly in Angeles City. <laughs> yeah, there's like, I, I, uh, there's nothing wrong with that if you are very single. Like, the thing is, I can't just understand people, some people. Like, I don't understand it. Like, when you are entering relationship, you have already girlfriend, you have already wife, you have already this. And I always told him, like, how did you feel? How did this man feel if the woman did the same thing as they do? They weren't going to like it. Of course, they will bitching about it. But it's okay for them to do something like that. But if you're single, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. I got a, I know. Knock yourself out. Have a good time. What are you doing, Lut? I will. I will be back. You'll I, be back. Yeah, I'm gonna feed my dog first. Oh, he needs like breakfast. All right. I will be back. She will be back. Try. Get the mic. All right. I know we're we're talking and rambling, but yeah. I mean, I found something here. Hang on a second. Where are we at? Um, I gotta send somebody something here. All right, I I just sent something. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's we don't we have disagreements. Of course, we have disagreements. Um, that's just life. Who doesn't? Who doesn't have a disagreement? But guys, man, if you don't have to, when you come here to the Philippines, you know, it. you don't have to put up with, you know, that mentality. And, you know, some people might get upset when I say, you don't have to put up with that nastiness. Um, you don't have to put up with that nastiness, that nasty mentality, that loud mouth mentality um that you would find you know in the west you don't have to put up with it you don't have to deal with it run i say run run as fast as you can uh, but love can be blind love can be blind right um i got a i got a message here <laughs> sweet jesus no that's not the message uh, i got an email here uh from you know i get emails all the time from from guys and from girls and uh you know not mostly not not necessarily girls a lot of guys you know and ask me things or telling me a story or whatever um i got an email here from a guy named johnny cowbell johnny cowbell how you doing out there he's in philippines right now um he had asked me a couple months ago if he could use an image of one of my videos for his thumbnail and everything. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And uh, here I got an email again from him. I don't know, Johnny Cowbell's his real name or if it's just a name that he made up, you know what I mean? Um, and he says, hi, Brian, would you be interested in reacting to one of our videos? YouTube is finally promoting the, the video after sitting on the back burner for over a year. It's gaining some good traction, so I thought thought of you. Maybe this reaction video can benefit to both of us. Please let me know if you are interested. I'll definitely throw you a bone. I'll attach the link to the video in this email. 
Well, first of all, reaction videos, uh, people have been doing them forever. Um, if, if you want to know what a reaction video is, uh, here's a for example. I like these. They'll take like younger generations, like, you know, teenagers or people in their 20s or whatever, sit them down in a room, put a headphone on them and play like some old heavy metal rock and roll, like, you know, Metallica, Led Zeppelin, or they'll take like um, somebody that never heard of, you know, big time and like get a reaction on their faces. Like, oh my God, reaction video. Um, they'll also do it with um, movies, like movie reviews. So it's been done for quite a while. Uh, you're just getting a reaction uh, from, say, something that you watch. Uh, me, I don't know. I, I've had people do reaction videos on some of my topics and eh, whatever, you know what I mean? And have I done some on others, maybe mentioned some, but I don't know. I mean, if the channel's designed to do that, yeah. But what I'm noticing is I'm seeing certain people, they're taking like big name YouTubers, say here in the, <clears throat> say here in the Philippines. You know, what do I mean by big? You know, people say, oh, well, Philly, you're big. Uh, yeah. uh, numbers and views. Uh, but I'm talking somebody that has big views, big numbers, well-liked, not only here in the Philippines, but elsewhere. You know, people like, let's just say like a Filipino P, like a Paul, old dog, new trick. You know, they've got big views and a lot of people watch them. Um, and now they're doing reaction videos to their videos and what they do is they link the name of that YouTube channel that they're watching, you know, to try to gain views. And, you know, they're, they're basically using somebody else's work to gain views because uh, people will see it like, oh, my God, what is Philly in the Philippines doing? This is in his channel. And they click. To me, that's not, you know, that that's just being lazy. That's somebody that doesn't have content trying to create content. Um, but people do it. But he asked me if I do a reaction video. Um, I, I did look at his video. I watched the video. And it was rather good. I, I'm going to put the link to his channel up here. Let me, let me see if I could find it real quick. Um, it was really good. Uh, the guy was talking about how he um, was depressed. Uh, he was, where are we at here? Let me pop that up. Hang on a second. He was talking about he was back in America and he was depressed. Uh, for years, he was depressed. He didn't really say why he was depressed. Um, depression is a tough thing. Even I had, you know, a case of depression. Uh, when I got hurt at work, I was depressed. I was sad because I couldn't get to work, you know, and I wanted to, and you get depressed. And like he said, like he didn't feel like doing anything. Everything was a chore to him to get up, to eat, to just everyday life was just so depressing. Then he got on the internet, found himself, and was talking to a Filipino. Got to know the Filipina, came here, <clears throat> met the girl. They get along fine. They're happy in life. Like the girl brought him out of his depression. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think they even have kids now here and everything. But, you know, it, People come here for different reasons. You know, that if you're in a hole and, and uh, you're trying to dig to get out, you got to find that way out. And, you know, this guy found his way out. And I hear that a lot from people. You know, they, they get divorced or sad or heartbroken. You know, my life is over. My life is this. And then they meet a Filipino woman and their life, I mean, it just, you know, their life changes for the better. You know, who wants, like, like I said earlier, who wants to be in a relationship where the other spouse is just constantly nagging on you? Nagging, nag, nag, nag. Who, but nobody wants that. 
Um, let me see. Did I? It's called the, the Fuentes family. You two, let me copy. Let me paste this. But he asked me to do a reaction video, and I'll do him better. I'll promote his channel. Um, I have no problem promoting good quality channels, channels that I feel that my subscribers are going to like. Um, they're in uh, no, too. They're, no, they're in Bico. Yeah. Yeah. Young, young couple. And, you know, they do. It seems like they do videos about their life here. You know, they don't gather all their information and do a videos about other channels information. Um, they live their life here. They're showing their life here, you know, but good for this guy, you know, being depressed like that and finding the love of his life and, you know, coming here and, and starting a new life. Guys, you can, you can start a new life here. You can, you know, you might come from wherever in the United States, Canada, Europe, China. When you come here, you can start a new life. If you didn't like yourself and the way you were in the country you come from, you can, because nobody knows you here. Maybe the girl you're talking with online may know you, but nobody here knows you. You know, if, you, if you've been that loud mouth, miserable prick and wonder why nobody likes you, well, when you come here, you don't have to be that person. You can be that person that you've always wanted to be. You can change who you are here easily, easily, because nobody knows you here. Now, some people are just in their, you know, and then your environment help make you change too. You know, if you're in an environment where it's just downright depressing, and then you come here, your environment can change it too, easily. Easily, but you can change who you are when you come to the Philippines. You know, it's just you can. But you got anything to say? Here's a lot. Look, you got anything to say? Negative or neutral feedback isn't addressed. How's it hanging, everybody? Oh, Philly in the Philippines. Oh, sorry, that was me. I put that. I thought somebody jumped in. Daryl Charity, one of the reasons why I moved to the Philippines was just to have peace of mind. Exactly. Yeah, you come here, you know, especially if you worked in a, a stressful job, a stressful environment, you know, always having to be defensive because, you know, I'm working in corrections. Every day you walk in, you don't know what's going to happen. So you're always defensive. You know, the only time you have to go on offense is if you have to react to something. So you're in a stressful environment, working a stressful job. When you come here, you don't want to be in a stressful situation. Why would you? You want to relax now. I still can't go into a room like a like a like a uh, a restaurant. I can't go into a restaurant and sit with my back to the door. Oh. I can't. I mm. can't. That's been instilled in me. I can't do it. Though nothing would happen, it's just Working in corrections all those years, you want to you have to position yourself to see what's going on. Um, but yeah, ah, uh, critter, I'm weird. I can the fills to be underwater. Oh, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> Justin came to the to the Philippines to be underwater. And guys, I've said this and I'll say it again. All right, Justin was one of the critter hunter, and Finn were were the two people that kind of pushed me into getting into scuba diving. I always uh, wanted to do it, but watching their video, their videos, they pushed me into getting it done. Yeah. And he pushed me too. And I pushed, well, <laughs> look, didn't know anything about it. I don't really, uh, the beginning, like the first time, uh, the first thing he said to me, let's go on a certified. I said, what the heck? <laughs> and I tell you what, I, I recommend it to anyone because when you're in that water, you're suspended in the water you know, weightless, just hanging there. N you hear nothing but maybe your regulator blowing bubbles and just seeing the beautiful coral and the, the fish. And it just, to me, it's just so just relaxing. 
it's just and it's like to me it's like a, a, a you're on a treasure you're in the underworld oh, um, other world. another world and yeah. to me it's a treasure hunt like let me go see oh there's something cool let me video that let me film that like it's just a completely different world i got a friend who he dives and he was in iraq and uh He's opened up to me about a few things and, you know, the things he had to deal with and trauma and everything. And um, the only time his mind goes blank is when he's scuba diving. So he found that peace, that peace of mind here. Um, but yeah. Uh, Brian, uh, is that beautiful Filipino available? I'm going to marry her. Oh, he's talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's plenty here for you. Uh, there's uh, Todd M. Are you going to even post some flip and dive? Uh, maybe when I go when I go diving again, I'll boom, I'll throw it up there. <clears throat> uh, retire crypto hunter. I retired from the Coast Guard after 24, 22 years of service and turned down being at, hang on. And turned down being advanced to E8 because it, because it got to be too stressful living in the USA. Can be Mark Doyle. Hello, Mark. Mitch Bromwell. Thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Still waiting for that rocket. Wait for you to hop on that rocket and get over here. Uh -huh. Critter, I went diving with Lytton Brian in Puerto Galera. Beat that. Yes, I just name dropped. <laughs> I, you can name drop when you meet someone, right? But just because you're a friend of 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 a friend who has a YouTube channel, you can't name drop. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, Philly, do you think the single YouTuber girls in the Philippines are mostly honest or are they just chasing views? A few of them wanted to meet me seriously. Uh, I don't want to play. I don't want to play, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know them, you know, because you always hear the horror story of how the woman played the guy for his money and this and that, you know, you, well, you hear the horror like, stories yeah, yeah, over yeah. a good story. Yeah. You know, there's also like, uh, there's a lot of stories, advantage and this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, but the old saying is, you know, the second that girl, you know, asks for some money, no, no, goodbye. See you later. You know, it, you know, you, you have to be careful. I mean, you know, somebody said to me, well, what, what, what dating site do you recommend? What dating site? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a professional dating site expert. I'm not going to give you advice on dating sites. You know what I mean? I hear I hear I hear, you know, dating sites being thrown around and people love to link dating sites to their, you know, about and show more, you know, on their, you know, on their what their channels about and <clears throat> but they don't know anything about the dating site, but they put it out there because that's what everybody else talks about. I, I, I can't advise you because I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, they want to meet you, meet them. It's up to you. You know, you have to decide what you want to do. Um, it's up to you. What do you have to say? What, anything? Oh, here's another one. I want to throw this one out, too, because I heard this uh, off of uh, fake, fake, not fake, but false, false advice. False advice. I heard this off of a false advice channel. Somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. Again, um, flying into Clark. I know because I did it. I know because I've experienced it. I can give advice on something by I've experienced, not just seen on the internet. Um, you fly into Clark. People were talking about transportation. How do I know if I'm going to get ripped off? How do I know if I'm being taken advantage of? When you fly into Clark, once you go through all your luggage pickup and all the other fun stuff and you get your stuff and you step out that front door and you're like, here I am. I'm finally in the Philippines. 
Philippines. You're breathing in that beautiful, fresh air because you're out in the country. You're not in the city, right? Um, there are blue cabs there, and there's other transportation vehicles there, cars, maybe a van, whatever. They charge straight, flat fee, 800 pesos. That will take you from the airport into Angeles City, into maybe ABC Hotel, um, you name it, all your hotels, um, candy towers. If you're at a and b they'll take you directly into your area for 800 pesos, period. They're contracted <clears throat> with the airport. The airport has a set fee that they've contracted with. These people don't want to charge more because they don't want to lose their guaranteed contract. And it don't matter if you're coming in at one o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the afternoon, no matter what time you're coming in, there's always transportation there. That is a set fee. Even blue taxi, they're not flipping on a meter. It's a set fee. All the other private guys that are there, they're contracted. It is a set fee. If they try to gouge you for more than 800 pesos, which I haven't heard anybody say they have, just get up and go to the next one. 800 pesos is the fee. Matter of fact, the gentleman that picked me up at my house here through B-Way Travel mm. took me to the airport, 800 pesos. It's 800 pesos. Boom, I threw him 1,000. Tipped him 200 more. Uh, even the guy that picked me up at the airport, because I knew what it was. I landed into Clark when I came back from the States. Went out there. I was looking for a blue taxi. They were there. Um, but a guy comes up and says, hey, let me take you. And he had a car, nice car. And I'm like, all right, buddy, how much? I wanted to see what he would say, because I knew it was 800. And he said, 800. And I said, you're my man. Let's go. Boom. Hopped in there, brought me home. <coughs> <laughs> Game a thousand pesos. So, guys, you got to be careful. Once again, I've said this many a times. Got to be careful who you're getting your information from. You know, you can get it from whoever you want. If you want to be part of the blind, leading the blind, part of that pack, go for it. Um, but when you get here, don't drop your jaw and be like, holy shit, they said this, and it's completely wrong. Um, so anyways, anyway, what do we got, Mike? Name dropping by others that can have never had a meaningful conversation with you is simply a sign of lack of content and trying to impress others when they have nothing to impress with. Well said, Mike. I think I'm going to put that on a plaque and I'm going <laughs> to hang it on my wall. I may even, I may even, Market that and sell that saying down on Walking Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Flavio. Hey, have you have you make friends with regular guy yet? I uh, love your videos. No. However, he is here. He is in Butuan. All right. And uh, I know somebody that is, is in contact with, has contact with him. And we've told him to contact Scotty, hey, Scotty boy, come on up. So we're going to have some coffee with Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Somebody sent him a message, and he, supposedly he's going to come up here. Uh, so when he does, he knows that I want to meet him and others want to. Remember, he wanted to do the old Rocky Balboa fighting match and everything, and then he got mad because they didn't want to sip coffee with him. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Scotty boy. Yeah, so I'm waiting for Scotty boy. <laughs> yeah yeah uh yeah the trick is don't ask how much never mention it when you arrive just hand him 800 paces and go then you look like you know a thing or two yeah yeah but i can't hand somebody 800 pesos from like manila airport to angley city oh you need to have <laughs> a negotiation yeah yeah you need uh, to get negotiation because yeah. Some of the time, sometimes yeah, you hand them and they will tell you, oh, this is not enough. The, the gas is expensive. Now right, they will raise right, the right. shit up. When you live in an area long enough, you know how much a trike ride should be. You know what I mean? You just know. Um, sometimes I mean, if they like from my house up to like um, 
MacArthur Highway. It might be a 50 peso ride, oh. you know, but I give him a hundred, you know, because I don't know. I mean, you think of oh, two bucks, come on, two bucks. But those, those guys, those truck drivers down on, you know, at the end of walking street and MacArthur, like I'll, I'll always ask them, how much, how much? And they'd be like 150 pesos. Like, what, what did the price go up? Nope. It's always been 150. Really? Huh, interesting. Then I'll walk up the street, maybe, I don't know, a couple hundred feet, talk to somebody else, 100, 100 pesos. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you just know how much oh, yeah. How much your rides should be here. It's supposed to be it's per kilometer. Right. They're, they're, 25. The, the city and the trike organizations have a set fee oh. per kilometer. Mm -hmm. They negotiate that. And that's what they're supposed to charge. Um, but do they? Nah. And, and it's not just foreigners. Yes, foreigners are a target, but they also do it to Kana. Filipino people. Kana yeah. did that one time. Like she said, the guy, the trike guy asked her for asked her has her for one fifty. And right. then when I went outside, you know what she? The funny part is, I asked him like, why it cost you one fifty? It's just only fifty pesos. So like, uh, and then you know what's the funny part? He right. said, my trike is new. Yeah. <laughs> So then it should be good. <laughs> they said, oh, my track is new model, remodel. So I told them, so it's my fault. It's my daughter's fault because your track is new. That's why she needs to pay 150. I said, like, if you don't like, I said, Tara, what is your, what I told that to that guy, what is your I know, number? Because I got to go to City Hall. And then now she was, oh, okay, okay. Can just give me 50 pesos. Because <laughs> I know it's 50 pesos. However, if don't, like, tell me it's 150. Because, like, 50 pesos, I can give you 100 pesos. Because that's what I always do. Just don't give, don't overprice me because I know exactly how much is it. And that is Hannah. And Hannah is the kind of person who doesn't like to argue something, you know. When she asks, and then at the time, if somebody asks her 150, but she only has 100 pesos because she always see me and paying them 100 pesos. So... She called me and uh, she uh, called me inside. I said, like, do you have 50? I said, why? The guy told me I need to pay 150. I said, why? And then when I come there, because the truck is new. <laughs> oh, my truck is brand new. <laughs> so, it's just like, I was like, oh. Why was it always like that? Uh, what did somebody said, uh, what did they say? They put this up there. Uh, let me see here. Where are we are now? Hang on, hang on. The price from Manila to Angeli City for a taxi is six k. It went up since pandemic. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't take taxi. I mean, when I would take a taxi, and I hear people saying they're coming up from Manila. Um, a lot of people will prearrange. Uh, transportation. Uh, you can always hop on the bus down there. Usually, if I were you, because it's not that like hard enough to go, like goes to Genesis. When you go right. out, you already have the line <clears> to <throat> Genesis. So why you just go like Genesis, Genesis bus? Yeah. I mean, you can hop on there, ride from there up here, cheap. Uh, you can arrange your own transportation. Maybe you know <clears throat> if you do plan to come here. You come come up to Angeli City for the beautiful beaches that we have here, because that's why everybody's coming to Angeli City for the beautiful beaches. Uh, contact your hotel where you're staying. Uh, let them know, hey, listen, I need transportation from Manila up to here. You could always research, guys. Research, you know, it, do your own research. Um, a lot of places here in the area offer transportation to and from the airport. It is going to be cheaper than the taxi. Um, just do your research. Contact your hotel and tell them, you know, because the hotels have connections with people that will come down, pick you up at the airport. Um, taxis are always going to be more expensive, mm. you know, because you got a guy coming from, say, Manila Airport, you know, and that's his regular you know, fair coming to airport, 
Well, he's going to charge you more because now he's coming up here to Angeles City. He don't have transportation to go back. You know, transportation, like what I mean, people going, you know, filling his car and going back to Manila. Unless maybe he shoots over to the bus station or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, So, yeah, they're always going to charge more. But just all you have to do is like just do a little research on your own and uh you know it's it's not hard um not hard at all i i always said i i should set something up uh to where you know i could contact me and uh i could set up a whole trip for you a whole trip but it's gonna cost you nothing's free it's gonna cost you don't look at me like that. Why are you looking at me like that? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It is it though. Oh, now you want to hit me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you looking? At, I'm sorry. Why are you looking at me like that? You bite your head off. Ah, uh, yeah. I like Philly's haircut. Thank you. Need a shave though. Ah. Uh. From Manila, I would take a bus to Dau than a trike to Angeles True. City. True. Much more better. You can and do also, that. Also, like Genesis goes to SM too. Right. He goes to SM and then SM from I know they get the right. trike. It's always like hundred pesos down there. Too. I forget what terminal it is when you get off. I don't know if it's Terminal Three, the International. I I can't. I'm not going to tell you. Um, but you get off Genesis bus is right there. You can. You know, if not, you ask, where is Genesis bus terminal? Where is it? And boom, they're running constantly. Uh, uh, Mike says 3.8 ride from up here down there, uh, 3,800. Ask, get on that bus. Genesis bus will take you right up to SM Super Mall in Clark. SM Super Mall from there. It's up to you. Do you want to walk across the street? Or do you want to try? Or do you want to take a trike? It's up to you. Or do you want to get a blue taxi? Or a blue taxi. It's up to you at that point. But that's the cheapest way. If uh, I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> Genesis is number 14. I when you know. go outside. I don't know. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Because I still remember. Is we there... get the right <clears throat> Genesis before. You're not going to give out false information. But no, you're saying, I said if. if you're I'm not, not mistaken, mistaken. It's right? number 14. I still remember because right. I asked this before is the Genesis. Right. He told us number 14. If uh... all right, guys. I, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. Oh my god, Brian, you're expensive. I can tell. I'm making a big margin. Yes. Yes. Because my ink on my passport is dry. What's that mean? What's like? What does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you what that means. What? When you come to the Philippines, it takes at least five years to kind of understand what's going on. You can't give out good, solid advice if your ink is not dry on your passport. Anything under five years, your ink is not dry on your passport. After five years, the Philippines either makes you or breaks you. Lots of people have said that. Lots of people have said, yep, I can only do five years and boom, I'm out. Five years and I'm out. So, yes, that's what that means. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I'm <clears> hungry <throat> too. Can, can you go get me some Kit Kats and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you just throw the hook out there like you're fishing. You get that sucker mentality. You're going to get the sucker, grab it. Fit. Got you, sucker. But hey, you know what? I always told him because he sometimes he's like, I know. I always told him, like, one way to bezel this <clears throat> and a kind of person, just don't respond it because they only want your attention. Oh, attra- attention. Oh, they only want your attention. And the meanwhile, they grab attention. Right. It was just, just like, why are you always bother Jesus? Yeah. You always, you know, there's always some. Uh, Critter, is it true there's a now a Kit Kat shortage in Angley City? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, 
Oh, you know what? Was like sometimes I, I just like, break me off know. a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I gotta go to I know. Uh, I'm gonna go to I know uh, vacation this year, but I don't know yet. I'm still like I don't know thinking. All right, there. Mike says Genesis is at all terminals now, and it's 380 pesos. Last time we took it, oh, they bought 380 right? yeah. pesos. That is a good, good deal. Um, it's at seven bucks. There's their buses. They have plenty of room underneath to sh to throw your luggage underneath. The last time I was on it, it was so cold. Lut had a sweater. She was cold mm -hmm. in that bus. I mean, their air condition was cranking in that bus. You know, the drive stop stop too. They yep. just go direct. They, they don't like stop at twenty different places on the way. I think they stopped at one. 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 Yeah. Yeah, but, no one because that guy needs to go to the bathroom. Right. Um, but it's a straight shot up. I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. Oh, yeah. It's just like when you're come, you come here, all you need to do is ask the people, like, where's Genesis Terminal? They're going yeah. to tell you where. Yeah. So and I know people here will take Genesis bus. Don't they start? They stop at uh, SM North in Quezon oh. City. Oh. There's there's a terminal down by SM North. There's an area where these buses go in and just drop people off. So I know because I know people that have taken them down to SM North in Quezon City. The bus kind of shoots through like a gate, like a cattle gate. Stops, people get off, and boom, boom, away they go. That's really the only time I've seen it stop. So it's not like a 10-hour ride. Yeah, yeah, so anyways, guys, I am going to wrap this one up. And um, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for listening. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert uh, on the Philippines, just an expert on my life. I can only share you, share with you the experiences that I have experienced, not what other people have. Um, so, all right, guys, with that being said, we are going to go get ourselves some Snickers and Kit Kats and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and and uh, Milky Ways and uh, wait, candy corn and pumpkin corns and all kinds of good snacks because it's good for my diabetes. You're just going to say always like having to get like a go go. I, uh, yeah. Wait, hang on. Fishing for the sucker. All right. Talk to you guys later.